gifts are often a hot ticket item when it comes to gifting them for children. But new technology could make families and households more vulnerable than they'd like to think. So Spectrum News 13's Eric Levy sat down with a local tech expert uh, that has a warning for parents this holiday season. All right, Tom Jelnick, president with On Target Digital Marketing. Good hey, to see you. Good Merry, to see Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for coming in this Christmas. Um, what sort of safety concerns are out there for those electronic toys that everyone is getting today? I don't want to freak everyone out, but a lot. So parents see these things in the in the toy aisles or on on you know online and get excited because it it slices, it dices, it talks to you, it listens, it, it's got cameras. But here's the thing. We got to be really careful with these. Uh, some have listening, you know, they're they're listening to your children and responding back. So mm -hmm. uh, we've really got to be careful what we're choosing. It's a thing. I mean, listen, devices listening to us is a thing. Right. Whether it's actually listening to our voice or paying attention to what we're searching online. I was telling you about my uh, my New York trip that is coming up this week, right. and um, you know, we, we I was looking for shows on Broadway. Two minutes later, it's in my Facebook feed. It they're, happens. They're it's being a thing. marketed to you, uh, right? So, yeah. you know, these a lot of these toys. The parents don't even read or understand what's happening when you hook it up to the internet. So, you know, some of my pointers here: please read and understand what you're putting underneath the Christmas tree before you guys, you know, before you you put it on a Wi-Fi network. Yeah. Um, I, you know, when, when parents, I mean, when should we use caution? I mean, specifically, I mean, is it when, when we're connecting it to the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth? I mean, give me, give me some examples. Yes and yes. So if you are hooking it up to the Internet, which a lot of these do hook up to the Internet on purpose because it's an, a, an enriching experience for your child, um, the biggest concern is it getting hacked or interfered with in between transit of the data, if that makes any sense. Like, not to over-geek it, but somebody, if they can get into your Wi-Fi network, can potentially start talking through these toys to your children or recording or watching. It's, it, it's scary. Well, they've got microphones now, right. you know, a lot of these things, right? Yeah, so they're interactive. They'll listen to a command that the child says, and then it sends a signal to headquarters, and the, it comes back. But what we see happen is people getting in the middle of that, right, and snagging that signal and then being able to... Uh, unfortunately um, talk to your children well it knows where we are too because yes. it's got the GPS right so if you if you are going to get your child something like a Fitbit or or you know a device that's going to monitor where they just be really mindful mm -hmm. that those can be hacked as well and the whereabouts of your children can unfortunately be found so what tips I mean what give me give me some tips to ensure that uh, you know that my kids you know are safe this so, holiday season to be I mean, totally honest I'd say anything that connects to the internet in terms of a toy, I'd stay away from, uh, personally, because there's so much risk, it's not really worth the reward. Um, certainly, if you're gonna get your child a phone or you know the types of these devices, this happens a lot. It's up to us as parents to really lock those down and make certain that our kids are safe, but really knowing what you're getting into is really half the battle. Like parents just need to understand the amount of risk associated with the internet. This is so funny. I mean, this is what this is what we worry about now. Yeah, it's real. Uh, we're seeing cameras get hacked. We're seeing people talking into cameras uh, in bedrooms, and you know, don't put the cameras in the bedrooms. I mean, it, th we used to, and we still obviously do worry. The Consumer Product Safety Commission tells us about the toys that you know can pose the choking hazard, but that it used to be that was it. Right. where you had to just look at the age range for the toys and make sure it didn't have any small parts that could, um, you know, a child could swallow and right. choke on. Now, it's that, and it's electronic fears. Yeah, so you'd be amazed how much discharge a lot of these toys that connect to the internet are actually putting out there. So again, it's just being really smart about what you're gonna put underneath that Christmas tree. Um, the latest and the greatest and the shiny objects are great, but just always understand the risk. The second you hook it up to the internet, you know, all bets are off. Do a lot of these toys have a, um, you know, or, or gadgets or whatever you want to call them, do they have features that you can turn monitoring off and whatnot? So, allegedly. But here's the thing, too. A lot of these toy manufacturers, it's not their mission to protect your child from the Internet, right? Their, child is to, their job is to make toys that are great and, and enticing to your children. Right. So they're not always fully tuned in to how to make this the most secure, safe product, and that's really where a lot of the problems come in. So if there's a flaw, if, if it's not secured properly, um, some of these do let parents turn off and on features, but again, you've gotta take the time to familiarize yourself with the product and understand what you're getting into. All right.
Tom Jelnick with On Target Digital Marketing. Thanks for joining us. Hey, always a pleasure. Happy holiday to you and enjoy the rest of your day. And we will, I'll be seeing you next year. Amen. Of course. All right. Thank you. Happy holidays to you. Eric Levy, Spectrum News 13.